Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, we have Mobile RTX 3000 Benchmarks, an update on the Max-Q and Max-P fiasco, Intel's 12th gen is coming when, and AMD's RX 7000 is set to crush everything. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, NVIDIA's RTX 3000 laptops are set to begin shipping to customers tomorrow. With that in mind, we're starting to see benchmarks leak out, specifically 3D Mark's Time Spy. Starting things off, we have the RTX 3070, which gets a score of 9,814. And with that score, you're looking right around the same performance as the Desktop 2070 Super. So not bad, but nothing all that impressive. Next, we have the RTX 3060, which gets two benchmarks that were found and shared on Twitter. You can see that one has a score of 7,852, and the other is 8,843. Now, these are likely the difference between the Max-Q and Max-P variants, but I'm not sure because they don't say. Either way, that's around the performance of the desktop RTX 2060 Super, which I guess isn't that bad, but also kind of disappointing. Of course, with all this new hardware coming out, it can get tough to know what to buy. That's why I offer my PC hardware suggestions at kit.co slash gamermail. In it, I go over why you may want to buy one thing over another, from GPUs to CPUs and more, as well as provide tips when buying certain components. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Plus, when you make a purchase, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. So don't wait and visit kit.co slash gamermeld or click the link in the description below. Now, while talking about Max-Q and Max-P, I have a bit of an update to the news going around about the two variants. For those who don't know, there was a recent report that claims NVIDIA is getting rid of the Max-Q and Max-P naming, which would obviously make for buying a gaming laptop quite confusing. Max-Q is made for thin and light gaming notebooks, while Max-P is for maximum performance. Now, before I get to it, I will say that Max-Q is actually the only official branding from NVIDIA. Max-P was thought up by OEMs to further differentiate the Max-Q from more powerful laptops. So with that out of the way, NVIDIA recently responded to the story through Tom's Hardware, where they said, quote, No, Max-Q branding is not going away. When we originally introduced Max-Q back in 2017, the brand was initially used in GPU naming since Max-Q referred to the GPU TGP only. Today, third generation Max-Q is broader and is a holistic set of platform technologies and design approach to building powerful and thin laptops. In addition, to be more transparent about a laptop's exact capabilities, RTX 30 series laptops now show more information than ever, listing exact TGP clocks and features supported. You will find this in the control panel. Then later they say, we strongly encourage OEMs to list clocks and other technologies a laptop supports. Okay, so there's a bit to unpack. For one, while they aren't eliminating the branding, they clearly aren't requiring OEM partners to use it. Instead, they're encouraging partners to list things like the TGP, etc. Well, as Video Card states, they just won't. NVIDIA also discusses being able to check in the control panel, except that means you have to buy it first, which is obviously absurd. This really just seems like a big misstep for NVIDIA. With that said, I have already heard from my XMG rep that they will continue using Max-P and Max-Q for their laptops, so some manufacturers obviously plan to use it. At the end of the day, I really just suggest watching third-party reviews of whatever laptop you're looking to buy before buying it. Next up for today, we knew Intel's 12th Gen Alder Lake S series of CPUs were set to come shortly after Intel's 11th Gen release, specifically the second half of this year. Now, if you're like me, you probably assume that was the very end of the second half, like December, given Intel's 11th gen still isn't out yet. Well, in a new tweet from Unicos Hardware, who's certainly gotten leaks right in the past, we can expect it much sooner. In fact, you can see right here that they claim we should expect to see Intel's 12th gen by September, along with their 600 series boards. Now, maybe that's just the announcement, but either way, it's sounding more and more like Intel's Rocket Lake is dead on arrival. And lastly for today, while I know many of you still aren't able to pick up an RX 6000 GPU, we're already starting to hear about AMD's RX 7000 series. That is, their RDNA 3 based parts. And let's just say you may not even want the RX 6000 series when you hear about this. 
The story originally comes from Video Cards, who claims to have been hearing rumors on the upcoming generation for a while. And the first thing is that their Navi 31 based GPU may finally move to a multi chip module design. Think of it as putting multiple GPUs together, but not using Crossfire or anything like that. Instead, Windows would look at it as a single GPU, similar to how Ryzen uses multiple chiplets on their CPUs, yet it still looks like one. As we've seen from NVIDIA, even they believe this is the future of GPUs. It's a way to add more cores without drastically upping the cost from low yield rates. Anyway, we've somewhat heard that before, but the news gets much bigger. We actually have potential specs from the user Kepler on Twitter. Now, I haven't heard of this leaker before, but 3D Center actually retweeted it, so there's at least some potential truth to it. According to the tweet, he isn't 100% sure, but from what he knows, Navi 31 uses an 80CU chiplet, and it has two of them. That's right, 160 CUs, which for those who don't know, is double the compute units in AMD's RX 6900 XT. Of course, with that said, we've heard rumors on previous generation GPUs coming with an MCM design, and those were obviously wrong. Still, it does seem more and more rumors are claiming just that. Like this new patent from AMD, Underfox found on handling MCM GPUs, as well as next-gen ray tracing. Let's just say, if this is right, NVIDIA is in some serious trouble especially after the most recent rumors claiming their MCM GPUs are being delayed. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's RX 7000 series? Or do you just wish that you could purchase their RX 6000? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.